Perry, you're smiling. I mean, after yesterday, yeah, yeah, and now yeah. you're back here. Yeah. Uh, fourth in Doha, fourth in Tokyo, and now you're finally getting a silver medal. Yeah. What does it mean to you? Man, listen. Well, it's can't even express what my emotion is right now. <laughs> I honestly can't tell you how I feel. I know I feel good, I feel great. Can and you give us a celebration for you? Man, I like to <laughs> like, like, Me, I even like to, I don't even know how to act right now. I ain't, not, I ain't gonna sleep. Listen, I am grateful the Lord placed me. I had so much faith in him. They say I connected with him on a different level. So today was just running blindly with faith, executing my race plan, sticking to my lane, Shut out the blogs, cause you know the blogs are like the big three. Yeah. Like nobody else in metal content. You know what I mean? So I just shut that out, focus on myself, and came out here and do what I had to do. Tell me about the last home straight, the hundred meters to go. I mean, with those well, carry there. What was going through your mind? The crazy thing about that, that after the semi-finals, me and my coaches sat down. We was like the race guy start after the eight hurdles, and we was like, God damn, like, okay, what are we gonna do? We're going to continue doing the same thing. This is what we've been training for. The only difference is I knew I had to lock in different and find, find it within myself if I really want that medal. So, I know you were talking about a lot about like the blogs and the people talking about it's the big three, it's the big three. Yeah. But like you said, you just got your medal. So, what did you tell yourself to, you know, essentially tell yourself that you were a part of the big three and a part of this medal contingent? Well, I was not a big dog. I just never got my shot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh -huh. I, I mean to sound like that, but I was not a big dog. Like, 2017, I got DQ for stepping on the line. I was favorite to win. 2019, I got fourth. I was partially injured in the race. Olympics, I had a slight hip flexor issue and still came forth. I always knew I was a big dog. It's just putting the right components at the same right. element, you know what I mean? Uh, While well, I'm mean, up on the chat today, we felt something slight. My therapist said, listen Kai, I understand, but trust me, and I telling you, you good. Just go and run. So I was like, man, listen, I don't want to blow something. He was like, listen, trust me, you good. So I was like, ah! I can trust you. <laughs> and tell people the importance of patience because you were saying like you've been through so many like little things that have stopped you from getting your medal, but you got it today. So tell people why you need to be patient and continue to wait for your moment. I'll tell you how I experienced it. I feel I had to learn a lot about myself and the sport before I achieve such an achievement. For specific reasons, but the Lord doesn't give you something before your time. I'll tell you that. So I had to learn something that I didn't understand until this year. Mm. And what I had to learn was patience, um, self-preservation, and the importance of actually learning and executing life itself. You understand? Just because you work hard doesn't mean you deserve it. There's other stuff in the background that you need to achieve as well. And I had to achieve stuff up a track and field mentally before achieving this. For instance, let's say if I win a gold medal, I'd blow that money straight. Uh, <laughs> like, you so you have to learn it. I'd blow that money instantly. That money was dead tonight. You feel me? But now that I'm in a position, I give him back. My, I, I only got a lot of 30,000 people. We're going back and help them now because you're going to see a lot more British Virgin Islanders right here standing right here competing. We got a young in out there, Adeja. She's coming up. You feel me? So we we 30k. We thought it'd be running against millions. We come in, we smile. Well, what's, your, what's your message to those people that have been supporting you? And if you have one word for your late coach, what would you say to him? Repeat that the last yeah, What's your message to people that have been supporting you all through, standing by you till this moment? I appreciate you standing by me, you know? I lost a lot of friends, I lost a lot of people through the journey. A lot of people actually give up on me like, you can't beat Wahoo, you can't beat Benjamin, you can't beat Santos. My own people don't write me off about that. But, you check Congrats, the 